So, a um, little talk today about the, um, the greatest common factor and, and what we do here and how we factor this out, especially as it pertains to polynomials. Now remember, when we talk about the greatest common factor, we're talking about, as it relates to polynomials, we're talking about the greatest common factor of terms. So, for example, let's look at um, a binomial here, 8x plus 14. Now, we know we've got two terms here. We've got 8 times x, and we've got 14. Those are the two terms. So we think about this, you know, how can we, how can we factor these things down? Well, let's factor 8x down. We can factor that into 2 times 4 times x, and we can also take that down to 2 times 2 times 2 times x. And then 14, we can take this down to 2 times 7. 7 being prime, we can't factor that anymore. So if we think about this, what do we have common here between these two? Well, we have a 2 in each one, which means if we factor that 2 out here, what we have left here is 2 times 2 is 4 and x. What we have here is 7. So, so we could also look at this as factoring out the 2 and writing this as 4x plus 7. There we factor out the greatest common factor and simplified this. Um, we're using the distributive property. So if we look at 8x plus 14, a factored form of it would be 2 times 4x plus 7. Okay. Let's look at a couple other examples here we can see. Let's look at another binomial. Let's look at something like um, 6y plus 18. Now if we look at something like this, again we can see 6y is made up of uh, let's see, we have 3 times 2 times y, and 18 would be, let's see, uh, 3 times 3 times 2, that's it. So what do we have common between these? Well, we have a 3 that's common between them. We also have a 2 that's common between them. So we have 3 times 2 is equal to 6. We can factor a 6 out of both of these. And what we get is 6y plus 3. And if we uh, distribute now to check our answer, 6 times y is 6y, 6 times positive 3 is positive 18. So this is what we do when we're factoring uh, polynomials. And what about when we uh, see instances where maybe we may just have uh, variables here? Well, what if we have something like y to the fourth um, minus y I don't know. Um, uh, y to the fourth minus y uh, um, uh, squared. And we want to factor here. Well, remember, we're looking at y times y times y times y minus y times y. So we have two y's in each. We could factor those out. Two y's we know is y squared. What do we multiply y squared by to get y to the fourth? We multiply it by y squared plus that's what we have left over here. So y squared minus one will be how we factor this. Okay. So that's with two terms. Well, if we have more than two terms, the same thing, same kind of rules uh, just apply. If we look at this, let's look at um, oh, an example here. Uh, Let's say we have something like 9, 9x to the fifth power um, plus 18x squared minus 3x, and we want to factor here. Well, we can look at all this, and remember we're looking at this is the same as 9 times x to the fifth plus 18 times x squared minus 3 times x. So we look at the factors of each term here. We have x, x squared, and x to the fifth. The greatest common factor there would be x. And then also if we look at 9, 18, and 3, the uh, greatest common factor we see there would be 3. So our greatest common factor here is 3x. And we factor that out, all we have to do is 3x. Well, what do we multiply 3 by to get 9? It's 3. Well, we multiply x by to get x to the 5th, we multiply by x to the 4th. 
So now we have 3 in the 18 is 6, and where we multiply x by to get x squared, well, by x, then 3x times negative 1 would give us negative 3x. So if, if we want to look at factoring here, well, we can factor uh, a trinomial as well. We're just looking at the common terms, um, for, for the, the common terms within each term, and that's what we're going to uh, perform factorization by. Now, what if we have an instance where we have something like, um, let's look at this, let's look at, maybe we'll have 5 times x plus 3 um, plus y times x plus 3. Well, remember, if, if, if this were the same as 5x plus xy, we know our x's are common between the two. In this case, we have our binomials are considered a term unto themselves. So basically, we can factor this by taking the common factor out and multiplying it by the sum or combination of these two terms. So what we're saying by that, if, if, if we look at this, we can say this is the same as 5 plus y times x plus 3. And we say, well, how does that work? Well, let's let's look at this. And let's say, okay, we have 5 times x plus 3 plus y times x plus 3. Now, let's distribute this all out. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 3 is 15. And then y times x is plus xy. And y times 3 is 3y. Okay? So we have 5x plus 15 plus xy plus 3y. Now what if we look at how we do this here? Remember, we're going to distribute each term throughout. So we're doing the same thing. This is just sort of a shorthand form. So 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 3 is 15. y times x is xy. y times 3 is 3y. So we get the same answer. So when we do this, we can factor out these common terms that if they're binomials or trinomials, doesn't really matter. Um, let's look at uh, let's look at another example here. Um, let's look at something. Maybe we have three x squared y squared, and we're going to multiply that times a plus b. But we're also then going to subtract from that a plus b. Now, if we want to look at factoring, 